Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 43 of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 and Pyramid Universalis Land of Hannibal, where in the last part we were continually attacking Italia and slowly but surely, one day probably, making a, a go, making our way back to the home world. I believe we're also very much sticking uh, very heavily to our new road system. Uh, yeah, let's make sure we get them in everywhere. We were also annexing our vassal of... Uh, Cartana, as they got a little bit too big to be usable right now. As you can see, we also have no conversions for our vassals, which is nice. I definitely think we need... Oh, Libya is now a vassal of Israel. Well, Israel certainly weren't going fucking busy, aren't they? I do apologize if I don't sound in the best of moods, guys. I... I'm not in the best of moods, but I'm doing what I can. Uh, great philosopher, sure. Yeah, I think we are going to have to invade Israel. Because they want all of my Phoenician land. And it'd, have to, it'd require a lot of men to send over there as well. So I'm, I am thinking that it's probably safer to get Rome dealt with first, and then go over there. And we can attack Rome again, so I mean... Wait, 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 wait. Set two stack armies. Oh, set a stack of one stacks. Roma is currently having a rebellion, thinking of having a rebellion. Now why is that, Rome? Oh, because I'm converting you. Well, that makes sense. Oh, okay, Rome is now converted to the correct religion. Yeah, we'll do this war for... Narnia. Sounds funnier if you say we're going to, we're going to war for Narnia. I have nothing to spend my mill points on either, so I guess... Wrong button. There we go. Let's actually press the right finger. Okay, you've already got a general. These guys don't. Let's go uh, say hello to that army. They have a 4-3. A we have a 4-2. We also have a 2-5. Shite, you ran away. There we go. Perfect. Now, of course, in this war, all we want is the last part of Italia. Like, that's what we want at the very least. And we can't even take that, so that's, uh... I'll leave that island for now. Yeah, we'll take that. That's a bit too much. Oh, no, fuck it. Yeah, we'll take that. It's fine. You have a two siege? Best go get fucking siege in then, eh? All we have to do is get through a couple of sieges and we'll, uh... We'll be, we'll be fucking sorted, won't we? I still feel like I could have some more ships in Maronium, but uh, we'll hold off for now. Okay, let's send you over and go deal with that. That 4 5 shouldn't be a problem.
Okay. Got a lot of free armies, which is good. Yeah, I should probably position my navies correctly as well. Wait. Uh, go there for now. Where the fuck? There's my shit navy. Let's get these assholes blockaded. Make them feel the, feel the sting of their coin pouch, uh, coin purse, or pinch of their coin purse. Not really the sting, but you know what I mean. Well, I was very lucky we got reinforcements. <laughs> Because that looked like we were fucking losing right there. Move the navy onward. Okay, I think it's time to get the official paved roads. And again, the best road place to road is the coastline of our main part of our empire. So if we have that coast, if we have that done, we can get a, you know get from uh, end to end quickly. And the African coast being extremely fucking long definitely needs it. Go this way. That counts because it's also an it is an island on our coast. That uh, it's technically connected. So oh crap, we got the full length of that done. Cool, let's get all the Tripletania done, as usual. They are the biggest fucking problem, so the biggest problem will be dealt with first. It also looks like the Roman army is taking a stand where it is. But I'm pretty sure as soon as we finish one, one of these sieges, we'll be able to end this war anyway. So I'm not too worried about this war. Oh damn, we lost a fight. We also lost our priest, which sucks. I'm gonna fire all those people and we'll just take whoever we can for you. Let's destroy the 12k and then we'll get ourselves down there to destroy the main army. We saved one of the armies, and we also beat the Roman army. Now we have to wait to the end of the month when we'll be able to get peace. It feels very weird to see a Carthaginian Italia when Rome exists. It's a very, very weird thing. New man. New Mantia. 29,000 man revolt in Numantia. Why the fuck are there so many of them? Oh, it was a fucking fort as well, which means they auto-took the fort. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll research that, it's fine. 
Wasn't even paying enough attention to notice that, to be honest. I'm honestly proud of, uh, of Israel. They're doing such a good job in this game. Normally Israel and Judah get their ass handed to them. As much as I'd like to stay at Latium, let's... Ah, fuck it. Just go, let's just fucking go for it. Go. Beautiful. Ah, Ibero Phoenician. I like it. So can we attack you again? 605. So we've got a few years. I'm going to spend those few years building up my infrastructure still. Like, I know I could, you know, declare war or you know, attack Israel or, you know, one of many things, but... Honestly, just don't feel the need to. I'd much rather just, uh, well, look after my land. Uh, you know, rather just look after this and then go from there. Slowly but surely, Dicontentus will, as a religion, will be destroyed. How long till my vassalizations on it? Vassals annex. I thought I'd, I, I actually I thought I'd already annexed them. I hadn't noticed. Now oh, we got some Roman separatists. Well, let's turn on our forts then, because they're going to be a pain in the ass, aren't they? Well, they both spawned on an army, so. That uh, 30k wasn't going to be able to do that on its own. I think it's time we upgraded our armies so that they are a little bit more modern. You know, like a f maybe a fifth. We'll go. We'll go with a fifth. Wait, is it time? For yeah, it's time for the fifth. Okay, so let's do this. So, uh, what's our deal? Okay, yeah, we suck. So, uh, we would probably mostly want. 20 anyway. How many cavalry do we have now? We have 20. Okay, we'll go, we'll go 18 in that and then. We're just going to get all of our armies to 52k. I'm not even going to bother with the royal regiments anymore. Oh, wow, it doesn't even increase our uh, cavalry. Sorry, infantry in that army. That army already had all the infantry needed. Just needed the rest. Not bad. Hopefully our brand new 52k will be uh, more efficient for us. I'll uh, get another two 52ks. Just to make sure I've got enough. So once we finish conquering Rome, uh, yeah, we're just going to conquer them all. It's, it's just easier. I'd rather just make sure they were gone. Then I don't have to keep declaring war on them. Celtic opium de op opium. Don't know what that means. Don't rightly care either. So we'll just uh, we'll get rid of them and destroy their religion because I can. 
And the Olympio Faith's doing a great job. But the one Faith that I think is doing the best is the Inumu, Inuma El uh, Elish is just absolutely dominating. Like, I don't think I've seen that Faith dominate ever. I don't think the Macadon game counts because I'm the one kicking their teeth in, so... That one probably... That one definitely doesn't count. God, if is going to be giving me their entire army and navy, then I'm just going to delete. Yeah, my navy is nice and uniform. It'd be very easy to figure out what's not mine. Soon, we'll do those soon. At the moment, I need to make sure none of my navies accidentally uh, go together when the annexation goes through. Because that would be a pain for us. I also like how their name is down there now with the amount of colonizing they've done. Alright. Go away. Go there. Go away. Okay. And there's all their armies gone. The world has been restored to a sense of normalcy. Um, this, though, I would like that one. I'm going to send you to go protect trade in over there. There we go. Ah. Wait, why are we invited to the Olympics? We're fucking Punic. I mean, we just won most of the events, but I don't understand why we're invited to the first in the first place. Yeah, we'll send our uh, thing there. Look, at, they've done a lot of good fucking colonizing over here. Where the fuck is that? Oh, that's up there. That's fine. Yeah, well, now I'll wait for you to get your religion done. Thank you first. Uh, right. So. Uh, yeah, we'll get the home area done first. And because I'm feeling nice, I'll even do Massalia before I do myself. Also created like a little pass, but uh, that doesn't have to go by the uh, ocean. Just in case you know that it's actually quicker that way. Oh, but look at that! Oh, look, it looks much nicer under my control. Yeah, we've got a flagship, an, an X flagship, which is great. It is just a normal trade ship technically, but it's it's just nice to think that it's not. We're making so much gold. Like, how much gold do we actually make? In the sense of how much it have percent. It's still not fucking six. Fuck me, our economy is just... Our actual normal economy is catching up. I'm going to smash out this idea. Because if, once I get this idea, I can get, you know, flank else up here. I don't know what I would get, to be honest. Probably a military idea. You know, try and make our army a little less shit. Probably get cav ideas or something like that. Actually, no. No, I'll make skirmish ideas. Because we always have an equal amount of skirmishes. Like, we always have majority skirmishes. Because, fine, you, you need to fill your backer up properly. That's just how it is, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what? Let's get before I end this part. We're gonna quickly make sure that goes up to 300. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord. All the links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.